Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming the third part of my Back to Basics series. So, so far we did um, base products, um, highlight, contour, and all that stuff. So if you haven't seen the first two parts, you should watch those first. But today we're doing eyeshadow. So there's a million ways to do eyeshadow, of course, and you could do it however you want if you prefer a more colorful look or a more neutral look I mean it's really up to you so today I'm just showing you kind of like the steps that I do and it applies to any colors that you use um, but this is obviously because it's back to basics it's gonna be like a really natural look but the techniques can apply for any way that you do your makeup so we'll just jump right into it because I want to keep these videos short so the first thing is primer um, this is the primer that I have. I don't necessarily recommend this one, but it's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It does work, I mean, for what it's supposed to do, which is to stop your eyeshadows from creasing and to make them last longer. So for me, primer is an optional step, but since I do use it kind of like I guess 60% of the time then I'm gonna show you how I use it today and it depends on what kind of eyeshadows you're using but for some eyeshadows I've noticed if you don't use a primer they will just like crease right away so those are like those like shimmery eyeshadows that are very creamy that have a lot of um, I think it's like dimethicone in them so if you feel like your eyeshadow is like a more slippier texture then you would probably do best to use a primer but this one I don't know I this is the only primer that I have well no I have other ones but it's the only one that's open right now that I'm using um, I find that it's a bit finicky the texture so if you're going to use primer don't powder over your eyelid first because it won't work it's gonna get all like um, it's gonna pill up and be like come off in like balls so um, what I did today I did put powder under my eye before to set my concealer but I wiped it away so that it wouldn't get in the primer so it looks like this it's like a paddle I swipe it on and like almost up to my brow because I do put eyeshadow all the way up there but as you can see it doesn't like a lot of product doesn't come off at once and that's what you want because if you use too much primer it's like a face primer it's just gonna have the reverse effect of what you want it's gonna actually make your makeup come off and slip and slide everywhere so you can pat that out with your finger um, but I do have a brush that I like to use it's this um, what is this a flat angled blender I use this for concealer or anything cream product that I want to blend out so I'll use that and you you don't really need to blend out the primer per se you're just like you know getting an even coat I hope you can see this I'm trying to work with the natural light today but it's coming from behind me so yeah I think that's a lot better I should have done that from the beginning but yeah so I just blended out the primer so that there's no like streaks or anything and today I'm going to use my Smashbox trio because what I normally do when I do my eyeshadow is I go for at least three colors because that's going to give you the definition that you want so but of course you could do a one eyeshadow look or no eyeshadow at all but this is what I like to do when I do use eyeshadow. So it has three colors that are kind of like in a gradient. So this cream shade I use all over my lid and up to my brow. And this um, mid-tone shade here I use for um, the crease and a bit above. And then this darker shade I use directly in the crease and on the outer corner. So when you do your eyeshadow, you kind of can think of it like when you're doing your face products so we use the bronzer and contour and highlight to you know enhance our features to give more depth and dimension to the face so 
that's kind of what you're doing with your eye is you're contouring your eye so I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush to get this cream shade everywhere but obviously you can use whatever like skin tone shade that you prefer this also has the function of setting the eyeshadow primer and that way it's easier for your other eyeshadows to blend on top and then for the second shade I normally um, I put it in my crease but I blend it upwards because I want to give the illusion of like a bigger eye I don't want to close down my eyes so I'm going to use a smaller brush but something that's still pretty fluffy so something like this because that'll get in the crease but also blend it upwards the way I like so I'm going in with this mid-tone shade here this is a really cool tone palette by the way so like if you don't like cool tones maybe don't use these kind of shades but yeah I'm just using it for the purpose of showing you three different shades but the shades themselves are also like a gradient so I'm not using like three totally different colors which you obviously could if you're more adventurous with your makeup but this is like a really basic look that I do so if you can see like I put that in my crease but I blended it a lot higher than my natural crease which is where like you know your eye goes inward so I'm just doing the same on this eye I'm just like you know doing windshield wiper motions and on the corner here I just do like gentle circular motions to blend it around the natural contour of my eye and I always do my first like base shades with matte eyeshadows I just like the way matte shadows work for this and then with the shimmer you can play up um, the look that you want to do afterwards and I usually avoid the very like inner corner with this shade because you want to draw more light there to make your eye look you know elongated so I think that's enough blending if you can see like it's not very precise because um, you're just trying to get the shape down and then you can go back in later to add more definition so then with the darkest shade is where I like to use a thinner brush because that one I don't want it to go everywhere so something like this um, and I'm going in with this darker shade here this shade I place it directly in my crease so right where my eyelid um, creases <laughs> and I just make sure like that it's going where I want it to and then you can even open your eye to see like your placement is where you want it to be so like I mentioned, this shade I'm keeping directly in the crease. I'm not going to blend it upward. And I might put some on the outer corner. Just patting it and then blending it back into the crease. And again, not bringing it all the way in to my inner corner. And the same on this eye. So at this point we haven't put any shadow directly on the eyelid um, and you could if you wanted to just bring all those shades over the eye but I usually leave this blank because I go in with a shimmer shade. So like I said I use the matte shades to give more definition and like to contour the eye and then the shimmer shade is like you know to play up the look that you want to give more 
like a brightening effect you can do an all matte look as well which i sometimes like to do but like 90 percent of the time i do use a shimmer shade on my eyelid so this is what we have so far so you can see there's like a gradient um this was my transition shade and then the darker shade i i kept right in the crease of my eyelid and it looks a bit weird right now but it comes together you'll see <laughs> so for my shimmer shade i want to go in today with something lighter i'm gonna use this shade here it's quite light and i want to use a flat brush to pack that on i'm gonna use this um it has a point on the end which helps to blend it in the crease but i mostly just like the shape of it because it's a flat dense brush so when you put your eyelid shade on generally you probably don't want to use a big fluffy brush because you'll just blend out everything else with it so i go in first with a brush like this to pack on the eyeshadow And this shade, I do want to bring it in my inner corner here and then just blend it upwards. Not all the way like over the dark shade, but kind of like even with it. And I leave the outer corner um, with the darker shade. Like, I, I mean, I don't blend out all over the lid because I want to keep that definition on the outer corner. So I just keep packing that on until it has the desired effect that I want. And at this point, I would go back in just to make sure everything is blended because you don't want to have like three lines of color very obvious. I mean, unless you're doing that kind of look where it's like a graphic look but you generally want to blend your eyeshadows together so i'm going to go back in with a clean brush because i don't want to add any more color to the look i think this is the cleanest brush i have right now um it's just another like fluffy kind of blending brush so i go over the first shade I put down you're basically just softening the edges so the same motions but more like on the edge of where the shade is as opposed to like going right over it again which sometimes I also do like if I just want to blend the crease shade with the transition shades more and I'm going like very, very light. And other times I might even add more shadow at this point. Um, especially like up here where the transition shade was placed. Because sometimes I blend it out too much when I'm doing the other shades. And I need to put some color back in. And I'm just making sure that they look even on both sides. And then I do like to put shadow on my bottom lash, lash line, yeah. Uh, because I find it just looks a bit strange if I don't, cause I have like, it looks like I have a heavy eyelid if I leave everything else blank. So I generally go back in with the transition shade first and I use, a round brush this brush here it's a little round blending brush because it has a perfect shape to get right under the lash line here so i'm gonna go back in to my trio with the transition shade here and to make this easier you can kind of like squint your eyes like this and then like the your eye bag here will will be easier to find and then you just trace along your lash line 
and if you didn't want it to be so like smoked out you could use like even a finer brush for this or like a liner brush if you want it to stick really close to the lash line and usually I blend this up to the corner here so that it's you know all connected so I'm not adding like tons of pigment at this point I'm just trying to make the bottom lash line you know appear seamless with the top so at this point whatever highlighter I used on my face I could use for my inner corner I like to highlight my inner corner um, yeah in every look basically but since I use that really um, light shade over my lid I'm gonna use that shade also for the inner corner and I'm gonna use this brush here that I always use so you just want like a little detailing brush so that you place the shade where you want it and for me that's right in the inner corner here and with any excess I usually go right um, at the highest point of my brow bone here under my brow and that's it for the eyeshadow um, of course now I would put mascara on there's not much to say about <laughs> applying mascara I think we all know how to do it um, the only thing that I like to do is I kind of bring my mascara outwards like so and again it makes your eye appear more elongated my eyes are like pretty round so I like to do that to give more of a shape to them plus it makes your eyelashes look longer I feel and if you get any mascara on your eyelid or underneath your eye don't panic <laughs> don't uh, try to wipe it away right away because you'll just smudge it everywhere so you would just let it dry and then it like flakes right off so you can use um a spoolie like something like this or even just a q-tip to take it off after so just let it dry at first and i like to put mascara on my lower lash line so yeah, I think that's it for today. Like I said in my other videos, I don't think there's any rules to makeup, but there's just like some basic techniques that we could all benefit from. So that's what I wanted to show you today. I only use four shades. Um, you can use two, you could use one, whatever you prefer. But like I said, I like to have the different shades to give more definition so we went in first with the transition and then the darker shade in the crease and the shimmer on the lid and the first shade was just like a base shade so to brighten to have a more like um an even tone and to help your other shadows blend better that's why i use always the base uh, cream shade for that and the primer just helps to keep the shadow lasting longer and in some cases, it will help to brighten the color of your shadow too. So if you're doing a more colorful, more colorful look, a primer will help um, the shades to really pop. So I hope this was helpful for you. If there's anything that you think I missed or something you're still not sure about, just leave your comments and questions down below and if you like this video give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye